Hi, I'm Professor Partha Vayud. I'm a consultant plastic surgeon. And this is Sai Twombly's Untitled One, 1967. My first impressions were, I have absolutely no idea where I'm going to start with this. But the more I looked at it, um, I saw an artist who was a free thinker. Uh, he had the audacity to squiggle some lines on a blackboard and say, I want you to feel what I'm feeling. Uh, he had a certain freedom, a, a childlike freedom, which I think it's difficult to really recreate. Um, and I think this is what makes this uh, piece very, very special. This piece is unique. As a surgeon, I, I see beyond the obvious squiggly lines that he has put on in, this, uh, in this piece. I see scars, the texturing that he has produced from this block uh, and print uh, gives me the impression of a man with confidence, a man who has been brave enough to say, this is how I'm going to express my, my passion. The movement gives a strong indication of what was going on around him in New York. Um, but that really translates to me uh, as a surgeon in a very different way. Uh, I see less movement, I see more texture. Um, I do see confidence, uh, but in the contours of, that, of those lines, I see scars. What attracts me most in this piece? This is one of those pieces which you might mistake for being a, a piece that you could just walk past when you're walking down the gallery. Um, but actually on, on closer inspection, this is a very, very interesting piece. There is texture and there is a lot of movement but all this is conveyed in an image which is monochromatic. Twombly did not need color to show intensity, to show direction, to show force. Uh, and that's really interesting to me. Uh, this use of mo monotone um, and still deliver this sort of strength um, is, is actually quite exciting. As a surgeon, I as I said before, I see this as a scar, I see this as a combination of lines that represent an immature scar. When I see a scar, I'm thinking of a variety of different components. I'm thinking of the, the contour, I'm thinking of the color, but more importantly, I'm thinking of the texture I'm thinking of what time can do to the scar, what the patient can do to the scar, what I can do to change the scar. And I'm looking at this painting and I'm thinking of how time has changed it. Certainly the original block cut which is changing in its patina. Um, we're seeing a, a print but my mind goes back to his movement and his working on that block and wherever it is now, it's maturing and changing like, like the scars I see. So this to me um, is a combination of contour, texture, color, may, maybe uh, shades of, of black and white um, and time. A new title for this. I think it would be brave for me to suggest a new title. But as a surgeon, um, for me, this is a form of calligraphy. So I'd call it a calligraphy of scars. I like it. I really like this piece. I actually think this is a piece which speaks so much more about this artist than initially meets the eye. 
some of his initial works were doing these lines on a, on a blackboard using chalk. The confidence with which he moves his hands, the speed at which he must have created this, this work, the change in direction with every line, the relationship of the different lines, uh, they all actually mean something more than initially meets the eye. And so I think this piece, um, when studied, when, when observed and when assimilated over time, uh, gives back a lot more and that's why I really like this piece. I actually struggle to see where one ends and one begins. I think it's a continuum. And the more we focus into each field or each specialty, the less we can actually appreciate the other. Um, so what I've tried to do, and I think I'm enjoying that process, is to defocus um, from the specialty, from the science that I work with all the time, defocus from the art that I'm involved with uh, all the time and actually see where one blends in with the other and actually there are so many uh, areas uh, which which are exciting um, we're, we're, we're enjoying the process of marrying so many disciplines we're looking at the marriage of surgery and fashion we're looking at the marriage of art and mask making, surgery and calligraphy. Uh, we're doing some interesting work around this marriage of art and science and I think uh, there is so much yet to explore. Definitely. Um, I think it's the first time I've actually taken so much time to, s to assimilate, to, to look at a piece of art, uh, of modern art more closely, uh, to make associations with what I do, to think about um, a deeper meaning that he may have wanted to convey. Um, for me, most of the art that I have associated with my profession has been primarily uh, the classics. It, it's quite obvious to associate surgery with uh, the historic works of da Vinci um, and the more realistic uh, paintings. Uh, but to try to make associations and to enjoy this art has been a, a really constructive, um, educational and uh, exciting journey for me. So I, I actually think I'm going to change the way I look at art. I'm going to spend more time looking at few select pieces than walk through a gallery. Uh, it'll definitely change the way I, uh, I enjoy art.